This is Ben Gersel, the CEO of SingularityNet and True AGI. And uh, I'm really excited to uh, invite you to participate in a, an event that's occurring later this month, February 27th to, to March 1st, which I've, I've been working on organizing for, for quite some time, which is the Beneficial General Intelligence uh, Summit and and on conference and this is a it's a face-to-face -face event in uh in panama city very nice weather this this time of year and it's also an online event in the uh in the the interweb so everyone around the world with it with a net connection can join in and, and participate from from anywhere and the the theme of the event as you may guess from the the title is beneficial general intelligence so what is it and how can we maximize the odds that beneficial agi is the kind of agi that 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 gets created here 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 on the planet earth the reason i've taken time out of my schedule to help put this conference together right now is like increasing number of others on the planet, I believe artificial general intelligence with capability at the human level and beyond is not so far off. So my, my friend Ray Kurzweil, some time ago forecast we would get to human level AGI around 2029, and that not too long after that, the human level AGI we created would self-improve, make itself smarter and smarter and become an artificial super intelligence. So it's 2024, 2029 is, is five years off. You know, I have for a long time thought Ray's forecast seemed reasonable. Three, four, five years ago, 10 years ago, most people thought Ray was being an incredible over-optimist. Well, now... Now, it's not that weird at all to think we may be at the level of human level general intelligence, you know, three, five, eight years from now. So what if I'm right? What if Ray Kurzweil is right? What if Sam Altman is right? What if the other AGI optimists are 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 right? And we're, say, three, five, eight years away from machines as smart as people. Maybe, you know, a few years more than that away from machines that are way, 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 way smarter than people. So this is incredibly exciting. I mean, a machine smarter than us that was well disposed toward us could could essentially solve every problem that, that confronts us now from aging and death to, to scarcity, to warfare, to science and engineering problems. On the other hand, you know, what's what's the downside, I mean, the potential risks of advanced AGI have been depicted ad nauseum in, in a number of Hollywood science fiction movies, right? So how do we steer the development of artificial intelligence in a positive direction, positive toward human beings, positive toward other life forms on, 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 on the planet Earth, positive toward the diverse spectrum of intelligent beings that, that will come to flourish in the period after the initial breakthrough to, to human level AGI. This is, a, this is the core question to be explored at the BGI Summit and on conference. And, you know, we're gathering together quite a number of thought leaders, vision leaders, and, you know, active AGI researchers and developers and entrepreneurs in Panama City to put our, our heads together, you know, toward exploring various aspects of this <clears throat> question. And we'll be, we'll be digging into, you know, questions like what's the best architecture for getting to AGI that's beneficial as well as just smart. What can we do to you know, expand and advance human consciousness 
so that humans can better provide guidance to the development of, of, of AGI systems? What governance and guidance mechanisms can we use to, to better regulate the, the growth of, of, of AI in a democratic and decentralized manner, incorporating insights from human beings around the globe what what practical systems do do we do we do we want to use to to provide data and infrastructure to emerging a, a, a agi systems to you know to ward off pathologies like a single company or or, or a single government controlling the, the ai, AI as, as as it as it develops and give a more democratically controlled underpinning for the ai's data and processing so there's so many important issues to dig into. Certainly, we're not going to resolve them all either in Panama City or in the online portion of the of the event. But I, I think we can make some real progress toward better understanding of these critical issues. And most importantly, perhaps, we can build alliances among people who are are understanding of the critical importance of these issues and the, the critical importance of addressing these issues at this time right 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 now in in history like we we want to think hard about beneficial agi right now we want to come together to plot forward a path maximizing the odds of getting beneficial agi right now we didn't want to do this in one year we didn't want to do this in two years we didn't want to do this in five years because by that time, you know, people may have heedlessly proceeded too far toward AGI that's not pointing in, in, a, in a beneficial direction. Now is the time to come together to, to understand how to create beneficial AGI. The reason this is a summit and unconference is that I don't think any of us have all the answers. We don't even have all the questions. I mean, we, we're pulling together a bunch of brilliant people who have thought about these topics for quite a long time. We will have some talks, we will have some some panels, but we're also having a bunch of working group sessions, both face-to-face -face and online. We're having a bunch of spontaneously organized unconference sessions where participants are deciding, you know, for themselves bottom up what are the most important things to be talking and thinking about. And we're doing it, we're doing it this way because. It's not just that we have a list of important issues to solve and we, we need to pull together smart people to think about the solutions. I mean, we're facing an utterly unprecedented situation, right? Never before has a situation like this existed in, in human history. I've been thinking about this stuff, you know, really hard for at least 40 years, honest, honestly, for more than 50 years since I was a little kid. I think I've understood a lot of things. I know for sure I haven't understood everything right nobody has there's going to be loads of things that surprise us all as agi develops but if we want to minimize the number of bad surprises that that happen we've got to bring ourselves together not just for problem solving but for totally open-minded brainstorming and, and uh, collective creative thinking like this is going to take all of our rationality all of our create creativity all of our open-mindedness and, and good-heartedness to really innovate the best solutions from here toward beneficial general intelligence. And I'm, I just feel so privileged to be able to work with my colleagues in the Singularity Net ecosystem to pull together such an amazing group of people in Panama City and, and online to think together through, you know, what are the next practical steps to take to work toward beneficial AGI. So please, please join us. You know, there's still a few slots left. You want, if you want to join us face-to-face -face in Panama City, but also please join us online from, from wherever you are. The talks and panels will be live streamed, but beyond that, there's going to be a whole bunch of online only working groups and unconference sessions for you to join in. There's been a bunch of, of talks and fireside chats and conversations recorded and, and released online on, on, on SingularityNet's 
YouTube channels. So there's loads of ways to participate. And uh, I know everyone's busy these days. There's so much going on in the world, but there's nothing more important going on on the planet than the advance of AI or the AGI and then super intelligence. And there's nothing more important for all of us to orient our minds, hearts, and souls toward than working together to guide the development of AI on this planet in a broadly beneficial direction.